In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can integrate Notion with Google Sheets. So what you want to do first, you want to make sure you are logged in to your Notion account and you have Google Sheets right here on the same browser. What you need to do then, you need to go to Zapier. So you can just search for Zapier.com or you can go to the link in the description and create an account. Uh, if you create an account, it should look like this. And we want to go to create Zap and Zapier is basically software that we can integrate different uh, website with each other. So the first trigger will be Notion and we can choose an event and we can say a new database item. Um, but I have a new Notion account so there is a chance that there are way more options for you depending on your account. Um, I use new database item right now and we have to choose the account. So I already have my account connected. If you have not, you just hit connect new account. It's super, super easy. Uh, I'm selecting this account for now and hit continue. So we have basically set up the trigger right here. Let's do it again. So we can select journal in the database and we hit continue. And now we can trigger this with Zapier. It's going to connect with Zapier itself. And as you can see, we found a database item, which means it is working. Now we can hit continue and move to the action. So now we've set the trigger, but what is going to happen on Google Sheets? So we can just type in Sheets right here and Google Sheets will come up and we have to choose an event. So let's say a new database item comes in Notion, a journal, I've selected it. What will happen in Google Sheets then? So you can decide it for yourself. Uh, for this video, I'm going to select create spreadsheet row and we can hit continue and we have to sign in to Google Sheets right here and select the account and hit allow. And there we go. So now we've connected with Zapier and here we can select the drive, the spreadsheet, the worksheet. As you can see, I don't really have any um, data in here because these are very empty accounts, but this is basically where you can select the drive from Google Drive, so we can select mine. The spreadsheet, so as you can see, I don't have any spreadsheets right now, and also no worksheets, but you can choose one of them, and then when a new database item in Notion comes up, the this will trigger the action in uh, Google Sheets to create a new row. If this helped you out, please leave a like, please subscribe, and see you next time. Have a good day.